morning, you guys. Adeline's taking a nap already this morning. I guess I shouldn't even say good morning, it's afternoon. The kids are home from school already. I've been trying to find a schedule that works for me as far as like getting these videos up and what seems to be working really well is editing them first thing in the morning because that's when all the kids are kind of like, I don't know, less crazy. So I've been editing them in the morning instead of staying up all night editing, um, which is why I'm starting this vlog late because I was editing all morning. Before I go downstairs, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about this new schedule that I'm doing. I am going with the Monday through Friday schedule. And a lot of people were like, well, I want to see what you do on the weekends or like, I like your sit down vlogs and stuff like that. And I guess I didn't specify enough. What I meant by Monday through Friday vlogs was that I'm going to post a video every Monday through Friday. So more than likely those videos are going to include footage from the weekends and they're also going to include sit down videos as well. So an example of this might be, um, if I vlog on a Friday that might be used for the following Monday's video. And then that Saturday would be used as the Tuesday's video. So they're all going to go in chronological order, but it might not necessarily be like consecutive days. And I definitely still want to do sit down videos as well. So I'm definitely going to still do like updates and like tags and stuff like that. It's, it's just going to be kind of a combination of everything that way. Hopefully you guys don't get like bored with the content and it's, there's like a lot of variety. And I know a lot of people do that, but usually they'll have like different channels, like they'll have a personal channel and a vlog channel. And that's just too complicated for me. I, I can't keep track of all that stuff. So all my stuff is just going to be on one channel and I'm going to make it simple. I'll post a video. I'll post some sort of video every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So so hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear because I know a lot of people were asking questions about that. So then that means next Monday, I think you guys are going to start with Chris's vasectomy. So you have that to look forward to over the weekend. Hi! I need to be at school. You did? Oh, he did. It is night. Oh, it just changed right in front of my eyes. It is 91 degrees right now. Tomorrow it's gonna be 96. Thursday it's gonna be 97. And then it's randomly gonna be raining on, what day is that? Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, that's weird. This weather is no joke. Summer is not waiting for anybody this year. Do you want to ride your bike to baseball practice today? Yeah? Yep, yep, yeah. <laughs> they have got their last baseball practice today. Today's your last day. Do you know that? And then they have like a couple more games before the end yeah. of the season. Guys, it's a little bit kind of far. <laughs> it's a little bit far. Yeah, it's a little bit far. We have, we have like a bike trail near our house, and the bike trail literally goes exactly to the park where their practice is. So it'd be an easy ride, but it's just like a little bit far. So I was thinking maybe I'll take them with their bikes because. They love their bike rides, huh? Do you like your bike rides? Yeah, loves his bike rides. Can you take your bike too? Yeah, I'll take my bike too. Then I can have Chris take the baby and the other two kids in the car and just meet us there. Only because it's really hot outside. Lilia doesn't care to ride bikes too much. Landon likes to, but I'm afraid he won't be able to go as far as we're going. So as long as we don't melt, it should be fun. Mommy, get ready for going in. Yeah, come over here. What are our rules? Look for cars, go on the sidewalk, and you listen to mom. Yeah? Can you think of anything else? Um, and if there's a car coming, and, and I was just so close, they didn't have to go on the sidewalk, and I shall listen to mom what, what his voice it is. Yeah, listen to my rules, that's right. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see them, because I'm like trying to balance on a bike. I'm not as talented as these two are. Here we go. Twins are about to start practice any minute now. Landon's over there jacking the twins bike. Like they're not looking, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to learn to ride without training wheels first, bud. 
I have it too, I got like two. Let me see, show me, show me, show me. I'm so excited. This one and this one. Can I pull them both out at the same time? <laughs> Why? And we have the dentist. Hey, and hey, let's pull them out okay, at the hey, dentist. Hey, if you let me pull it out, I'll split the money with you. Say no, because I get all the money. That's no, a bad deal. I bad get deal. The, all the money. That's a bad deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to make deals now, girl. I can already picture you without your two front teeth, and it's so cute. Let me see how wiggly they are. You're gonna be wishing for Christmas your two front teeth. Oh. <laughs> this one wiggle, one wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Two wiggle wiggle. They're legit wiggly, dude. Like, wiggle, oh my wiggle, gosh. Wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe when you lose those two teeth, she'll be getting those two teeth. <laughs> That'd be pretty ironic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you blowing bubbles. <laughs> See? You got dirt on your shoes? Oh no. We are back home now. You say with Sissy? It is too hot for life. We're dying. So we took all of Addie's clothes off. The rest of us are just suffering. Lilia is determined. I don't know what Addie had a necklace. Yeah, she does. Did you buy it? I did. You know what it's for? What? It's for teething. Because when, you, when you're getting your new teeth in, <laughs> when you're getting your new teeth in, it hurts your gums sometimes. It can make them really itchy. So that necklace is supposed to help with the teething pain. So we're out here. Lilia is determined to try to ride this bike. She's intimidated by the bigger bikes because we do have a bigger bike for her. She really wants to try to learn on one of the twins' bikes. Do you want me to help you? Yeah? You gotta start going. There you go. <laughs> I nearly failed. You nearly fell. Today must be the day I will learn. Yes, it must be. It has to be. It has to be. Ready? Oh, you're doing it! <laughs> I'm doing it! You did it! He did. She did it. I'm so proud of you. Look at it! You gotta keep going, you gotta go faster. <laughs> you did it! I heard I missed her. Right when I turned it off, she went for like a long stride. Do it again, Lily. I just love how supportive all these boys are. They're all so happy for her. I do it! Yeah! Oh my gosh, you sure are. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I got a letter in the mail from my insurance company, which I'm assuming is gonna tell me whether or not I qualify for my surgery to fix my stomach muscles and all the pain that I have, and I haven't read it yet. And I'm a little scared too, because they were supposed to call me back. They originally they told me it was gonna be like a week, and it's been like at least two weeks now. It's been a while, and they never called me, which I think is probably not a good sign. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. What does it say? They denied me. What? Yeah. I don't know how. Even that surgeon said that it's like one of the worst cases he's seen. It says Dr. has asked my insurance company to approve the hospital stay. This request is denied. The service requested was reviewed by our medical director and the decision has been made best on the Milliman care guidelines. The surgery does not require a hospital stay. I just don't understand how I've talked to numerous surgeons about this. Got some warm hugs for you. It's just so disappointing because 
I am in constant pain every single day. And don't get me wrong, it was worth it for all of you guys. But that's just so frustrating. So frustrating. Every doctor that I've talked to has told me that I need to avoid any kind of exercise involving my core. Anything you do involves your core. And everything, when you walk, it involves your core. I guess my only option at this point would be to just pay for the surgery myself out of pocket. Yeah, which is gonna be worth it, absolutely worth it, but it's not exactly a cheap surgery. And I would much rather put that money towards fun things for my kids, but I guess I can't do those fun things with my kids if I'm broken. Huh. So frustrating. I love you guys. <laughs> watch so this. Much watch this. Watch this. You can give Addie love too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 since I did that today, can, can we read a special book for me that I either got from my, from Christmas or my birthday? Yeah. You mean to just read a different book tonight? It's My Little Pony and it has 120 pages and it's a chapter. It's a chapter book? I don't even know what time it is, it's late, it's late. So before we end the vlog today, I've been thinking because I have had Careful so- Careful with that thinking thing. Shut up. I have so many requests to start doing the FAQ Fridays again because I did those for like a while. There was a good minute where every Friday I would do an FAQ Friday and I would answer just like one of your guys' questions that somebody asked or like several people asked and I wanted to start doing that again, especially now that we're doing the Monday through Friday vlogs. I think what I'll do is every Friday at the end of the video, we will answer like someone's question or like did a you frequent just, question. Did you just ask me? I don't know. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do? Re-grand opening. Oh, because I am like reintroducing <laughs> again the FAQ Friday. Under new ownership. <laughs> it's not under new ownership. I'm the owner. <laughs> yeah, but the last owner sucked because <laughs> it went away. <laughs> You're so mean to me. <laughs> anyway, so for today's question, I just like skimmed through comments to try to find something that like. I remember a lot of people asking and the thing that has been going on lately is people asking about the kids calling us mom and dad like step kids step parent type deal I think it's been kind of known that the boys my boys have called him dad for a while and then his boys started calling me mom and then the, the one that was left was obviously Lilia because it was just kind of a, like a different situation, I guess, from like my boys because she has a dad who's involved. I mean, she's a lot older. And she's a lot older. And I she's guess. a lot older. Landon's like only ever called you dad pretty well, much because. Since like day one. Yeah. Well, not day one, but like since he could talk <laughs> because you were in his life since he was like six months old. That was like the first step of like the kids calling the other person mom or dad and then his boys started calling me mom pretty early and i think it's mostly just because all of the kids together like you're they're all running around yeah. they're all saying mom and then saying dad and they kind of just like picked up on it yeah they they just like they kind of like follow suit mm -hmm. you know like all the kids are like like running around like yelling mom 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 and then they just automatically just say it yeah and, and obviously the older ones understand the concept of like stepmom and stepdad and so they might get it more. The last one of the bunch to really pick up on the mom and dad thing was Lilia. For the for the longest time she was still calling him Chris. And anytime I, I think still to this day when I talk to her I say Chris, I don't say dad. Yeah. Like I'll still say oh do Chris blah blah blah. But just recently, I mean this past like couple months, she's been referring to him as dad. And then she made the comment the other day when Gabe was there. What? Remember that story? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Gabe. So Gabe came over. I think Gabe was coming over to either pick her up or just hang out for a little bit. She like went to ask me something and she goes, what do I call you when my other dad's here? Didn't she whisper it to you? Yeah, she like came she up whispered. and like whispered it to me. Or no, she said, yeah, she said, what do I call you when my other dad is here? <laughs> and I was like, I... Call me whatever you want. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've never been asked that question I before. Know. I didn't know how to answer it. And it was so like her thing. And so now she's just been calling him dad just because 
everybody else calls him dad and then his kids call me mom because everybody else calls me mom yeah anyway that is a wrap for this friday video we will see you guys next week is procedure week are you excited totally <laughs> we will see you guys on monday good night